What's going on YouTube, 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 it's your boy 301 Trucker checking in, man. So, today, we're going to talk about a few things, man, in this industry. See, a lot of times, especially for the good people trying to get into trucking, everybody's made to believe that this industry is so lucrative and that there's so much revenue and that there's this and there's that. And you got companies that are going to thrive off of that. You got companies that are going to try to tell you whatever it is that you want to hear to get you in their seat. You have companies that know that they don't have a home every other day or a home on the weekends or but they advertise it as that because there's a chance that you can pull that off a chance and that chance is based off of the fact that there's no traffic it's drop and hook you can run the full 70 75 miles an hour in jb hunt's case 65 um like everything's going to be just peaches creams apples and you know, all that good stuff and that there's not going to be any problems. Well, in trucking, that doesn't exist. There's always some delay, some hiccup, something breaks, something pops, something's not ready. Somebody's taking their time. There's an accident. There's, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. But what you have to remember is, is that as much as you need a check, is as much as the company needs a driver. Yes, they can always put another person in the seat. But if you do your job to the best of your abilities and they know that you take care of their equipment and they know that you don't do late deliveries and that you're always on time and you have no problems, you don't have accidents, you're not rushing, uh, you know, your customers aren't complaining about you, you'd be surprised at the turnaround that you'd have on how much they would bend to try to keep you. So the moral of the story is, is that just because you want to get into trucking doesn't mean you need to do what 95% of drivers out here do. Including myself, I fell victim to it. And that's bending on what your real reason is for getting into trucking to make a dollar making a dollar doesn't always suffice the outcome and meanwhile while you're out here slaving peanuts to get that dollar they've already achieved that and they're comfortable in their place and not worried about you because again they can get another driver so again be strategic in your movements think about everything before you sign the dotted line and think about everything before you get the outcomes now, on the plus hand, aside from being trapped in this office for most of the day, you get stuff like this. Where you can pull up the places and see nice sceneries. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is trucking worth it for you? Um, just because it's worth it to the next person or the next driver, doesn't mean that it's for you and everything is not for everybody again some of the terms that I've had to take my own advice uh, so yeah again if anybody has any other question or information they would like on Intermodal or JB Hunt's Intermodal specifically I can give it to you but uh, time is winding down for this one uh, for those of you that have been riding along, I thank you. Uh, this channel will be transitioning over to a new adventure coming soon. Um, I will make videos about that. I'll make vlogs about that. Um, not too many of them up on YouTube from what I've seen anywhere. Not too many companies have automated arm trucks. Um, so, uh, dropped the gem. I dropped the gem. Um, but again, yeah, so.
been a fun ride. It's been a good adventure. But there's always a bigger plan. Family first. God bless. Stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Again, any other questions? Which you guys have been keeping me pretty, pretty busy on the questions. But hey, I don't mind helping out. So if I can help somebody out, I do my best. Got any questions? Drop a comment. God bless.